So today I want to share one error uh, I observed when launching the uh, debugger. So uh, my program here uh, has some problem and I want to launch the um, the debugger to step through it. Uh, however, um, when I click on my you know start debugging, uh, I actually you know encountered a bunch of errors that preventing me uh, from uh, launching my debugger. Uh, so the error was, is essentially it is trying to uh, it, it shows a timeout. However, um, the actual error is actually uh, you know if you read through this, it's uh, trying to activate my um, Python you know, the Conda environment that used for this specific project. And uh, at this moment, it says uh, cannot find that environment. And uh, if you, um, you know, run this command, you would say that uh, uh, truly I don't have uh, the environment, you know, uh, 705741 RL. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, you know, um, essentially, I, I I run this project in a pure uh, Windows system um, where you know I have Conda installed on my Windows system, and uh, uh, here, uh, you know, for some reason the debugger is actually trying to uh, open um, the Linux um, subsystem on Windows, um, so WSL. Uh, in that case, I also have Conda installed uh, on um, you know Linux subsystem, um, and in this case, you know you can see the environment are quite different. Uh, and more interestingly, if if I click here, my default uh, terminal is actually uh, WSL, the Windows sub Linux. Um, and one solution for this. Um, I think is you know if you click on select default pro profile and change the uh, terminal to PowerShell um, that is reserved for Windows, and then I think it will solve my issue. Uh, so let's try wrong start debugging. In this case, we can see the PowerShell is running instead of WSL. Still timed out. Now it's, it's a new error, so no connection could be made because the target machine actively reuse it. Maybe I should also close um, the other PowerShell. So for this purpose, I um, kill the the other one, kill this one, and uh, will my terminal um, and then try again. I guess it's only work because I, um, you know, had the other PowerShell running. Oh, but the, here is a new error that uh, invalid syntax.
launch JSON LAN2. Now it is uh, saying that I, I have some um, syntax error on my um, launch JSON. So in this case, I could uh, probably solve it by um, try to delete the um, if I go here and uh, delete my launch JSON move to record cycle bin uh, and hopefully you know it will ask ask me to uh, create a new one because the first time it tried to start it will not be able to find the launch JSON file and hopefully it will start a new one and looks like it, it, it did it did start a new one it can be verified if you go explore here and uh, oh no it didn't but anyway it probably used the default uh, launch but anyway we solved our issue it looks like right now um, my code stopped here because I added a, a step point a break point and then I can actually start stepping over my code and uh, look at different you know, variables.